That's about it. <clears throat> now we're going to play with explosive limits and calcium carbide. Calcium carbide is a funny substance. It's bought. You can buy it at shops. Some use it for lamps and uh, some use it as a mold detergent. It stinks and it will scare away the molds in your, in your lawn. We're going to make an explosion. To make calcium carbide, you take some lime, mix it with carbon and heat it. Then calcium carbide is formed and some carbon monoxide. Calcium carbide. There should be a knife down here somewhere. like small stones and it's rather corrosive so I shouldn't keep even in my fingers too long. The funny thing is that when you mix calcium carbide and water this reaction takes place. Calcium carbide plus water forms acetylene and calcium hydroxide. The good thing is that acetylene is extremely flammable. So mix acetylene with oxygen ignited and it'll have carbon dioxide water vapor, and quite a lot of energy. To make it explode, you need to know about explosive limits. If you have a mixture of air and acetylene, below 3% nothing will happen, it's too lean to burn. Between 3% and 78% the mixture is explosive, and once you pass the 78% limit, it's too rich and it won't burn either. Enough talk, we're going to blow something up. I'll start with a syringe and a needle. I'll take a bit of calcium carbide. A rather large bit. And add a bit of water. Acetylene is formed, streams out up here, and I can ignite it. As you see, acetylene is rather flammable. And the first law of chemistry states, if it can burn, we can make it explode. The classical way to do that is to take some coin of tin can, make a hole in it. A bit of water and a bit of carbon. You just need one very, very, very small lump because too much of something good is not wonderful in this case. Like a pea. Acetylene is formed. We're slowly raising in concentration towards the lower explosive limit. And once the mixture streaming out here is above, we can ignite it. That's a nice little one. But we need more. We take exactly the same principle and just scale it up a little. We have fun. This one is utterly useless as a weapon, but it's great as a fun toy. Apart from that, it's very important to take a clear stand on animal testing. I'm pro. So, same procedure. A couple of lumps of carbide. A plastic lid. Brave volunteer. And now I just have to wait for the touch hole to become smelly. That sounded wrong. Ready? Fire. That was a 
Cowboy Cannon. <laughs>